Hello and welcome to Among the Wildflowers. This is Christina along with Damien and Jaylee and I'm going to share with you a little bit of our backstory. Last year we got the crazy idea that maybe, just maybe, this piece of land was calling our name. We weren't really sure if that's what we heard or not, but we knew that we were being tempted. The thing is, we already had a home and land that we loved that we had made into basically everything we wanted in Oklahoma. And the thought of leaving that seemed absolutely absurd. But from October, then going into December, back again in May, we couldn't keep ourselves from coming out and looking at this land over and over. Next thing we knew, we were looking at huge pieces of stone, thinking about the fun things that we could create again. But we had this home that we loved. Could we stand to say goodbye to it? We really weren't sure. had worked over 11 years together on our home in Oklahoma and it really was a group effort by all. It had become home to us. Could we walk away from that? Would we have the energy to put it all together again? Would the creativeness be there like it was before? There were so many questions but one thing that we knew for sure is we were excited to try. The only other thing we knew is that it would be hard to say goodbye. By spring, we found ourselves back out at the land and laying out where we could put a home site dreaming about the possibilities, and seeing that we really could make this our reality. The barn's not square with a house, but the way the drive can be, I think it'll feel as good would work. Hello, everybody. It is Christina and Damien, and we are here at our new property. We have sold our place in the Grove and we are starting a new chapter here. So today we brought the Bobcat and we're unloading a few things. Damien, what's this big stone here? That's the future kitchen sink. That is the future kitchen sink and we'll do a video on that and show you exactly how he makes a sink from start to finish. But here we are, and I'll shoot to a video just showing you a little bit of the land. We look forward to sharing this journey with you guys. Well, there's no turning back now. It's time to start moving our stuff from Grove. We started with the building materials that Damien had already prepared for the shop. He had pre-cut as much lumber as he could 
to get us a little bit ahead in the building process since we would be doing so much of the work ourselves. It was days and days of moving the material. We already have, like I said, a lot of lumber. We also have a lot of stone and even the brick that we plan on using on our future home, shop, barn, everything. We have a lot of that already. So it's something that we have been working towards and hopefully that will help us come out ahead in the end. Today, our friend Dustin is helping with digging the footings for our new shop and studio apartment. Seeing the ground actually getting broke is really one of those moments when it hits you like, wow, we're insane and we are actually doing this. Hello from the new Hacienda today. I'm here with my solar powered fan and um, it's not the most powerful thing in the world, but I haven't let it charge very long, but I am thankful for it out here. We have no water, septic or electricity yet. And so just giving it uh, a try to see if on these super hot summer days in Missouri, if we can get some wind blowing and get temporary relief but Damien is unloading some wood that he sawed himself and I'm just gonna show you a little bit of that. This is the hard part where we had this beautiful piece of property, so pristine, rolling hills, and then we're bringing in all of this construction stuff and some temporary shipping containers to store our items and uh, tearing up the land. But as I look over it, I can see what the future will be and I know it will be beautiful. Um, I just hope that everyone else can see it too and bear with us through the building pains. Okay, here's where the barn is going. Or the shop, it will have a two bedroom, one bath apartment in it that we will live in while we are building our home. The home's going to go right over in that area and uh, then he'll use the rest of this just for a barn. But in the meantime, it will be our home sweet home. Our main focus now is getting the well dug. We were expecting to go as much as maybe 800 feet deep, but it ends up that we only had to go 600 and I believe 80 feet deep which I know is a lot, but not having to go that extra depth really helped with the cost of it. So within just a few days, we had water. Today, Damien is getting the majority of the backfill put in and getting ready to pour the floor.
While we were getting the slab ready to pour, the electric company was running 2,000 feet of electric underground. And thankfully the telephone and internet company was also able to come along behind them and run fiber optic cable to us, which when you live in a rural area, that's a pretty big <laughs> deal. And we were really thankful that we were able to get that out here. As you can see, we have brought in a camper now that we have water and we are able to stay here as we are working on everything and getting the studio apartment ready. Well, it's time to pour the slab and we called in Damien's brother and his crew and his friend Dustin and some of his guys and together they were really able to knock this thing out and they poured a good looking slab. So we've got a great foundation for our future apartment and shop. Now it's time to build some trusses and start putting up some walls. Join us next week as we start that part of this adventure. We hope to see you again. Until next time, God bless.